the UK in terms of uh, community broadband. I hope so. Um, is technology uh, going to let us down? I think we could. No, no, it's not good. Uh, I'll just show them this. All we're bothered about here is getting this little piece of fibre, which you can barely see, to every house in our parishes. There's a mile of it on that road. And the way we do it is through this ducting, which you'll see us laying on this film. If you have any questions, you can ask in the question and answer session. Shareholders of barn have got enough stock to complete the whole course of phase one. Ducting, access buildings, the lids, everything we need, and it will be delivered to the sites as and when it's needed. Massive reels of 24 core duct with a big duct inside it, right down to little reels of 7mm duct with 4,000 metres on them. This is the ball flow in action. There's usually a man walking behind, making sure there's no stones overturned or sod sticking up, and he just keeps a general eye on things so it's better to have two men doing a good job here. special 16mm duct. It's special because it's got people's names written on it. This has been mulled by him. If you want to sponsor a meter of our duct, just let us know and we'll put your name on it and very or posterity put your name on it. It's absolutely poured down the last few days but this is a good dry field so we've been able to work today. As you can see it's quite a nice job. There's a little ridge sticking up each side of the furrow, but once this main bit's done, the man will come with the little digger and run his caterpillar wheels over it and flatten it down, so you can have it out of being a little bit of rain or something. Every route we do follows a plan, and this was the plan to connect from this access chamber, the bungalows and the houses on the left, and join up to where we're digging today. So we had to go around the houses and under the road and you can hardly see where we were yesterday. We've got to under the road and now we're digging to meet it. So they're all lost to the joints. You can see where it comes through the gate, under the road, into a hole, and join it up. As you can see, as we get to the hole, there's only two of the 7mm ducts come through the road because three have been used already on the route to those houses in the background. And the larger 16mm duct that's come into the road, and that will join to the 16mm duct for bring it down to meet it now. The two remaining little ducts will go away to houses just on the left out of the picture shot. So we're heading, this is where we're going to join our fibre, our dark fibre to Manchester. And here we have the gas pipeline, which we do have to avoid at all costs, so along with drains and everything else. And this is the machine that finds all this stuff underground for us. It tells us the depth it's at. Mark the field with blue dots where everything is, can we avoid it? Like the moles, who have no respect for gas pipes. You lay the ducting out, and then this ducting has been dug with a digger. Uh, it doesn't look as neat at the moment as with the mole ply, but some things have to be dug in. And then the sod's carefully replaced on the top, and then it's all flattened down again. That's where we went under the fence. That little bit there on the right would be hand dug with a spade up to the hook behind the tennis court. Then you can see where it's been flattened and the rain will soon sort that out and that's the hole on the other side. That was a little hole and this is a big one under a wall. So making the most of it, threading the duct in under the wall and threading it onto the mold plane so it's also all we need to start mold plane with. You can see it goes into the wall there. 
that's where he join the one that came down the field and we were about to play on the way down that way. And this struck the 24 7 millimeter uh, small cores and a 16 millimeter on the centre. Again we've got the jigsaw puzzle of sod put back and back in there. Because the fields are just wind down. The one before it, the one before that, and the other two walls in this access chamber. Now we're going to join them all up. Right, you've got you've got the, the traditional current system right. on this one, right? You've got your seven, six, seven, two and two. Right. Each one of those tubes, say for instance yellow one, will be marked yellow one. They will have numbers on them. So you know which tube is which. Okay. You've got two lip cords, one on either side. <coughs> yeah. What I do is I'll use the rip cords here first. And I'm going to use a knife on the other end just to show you the two different processes. Please. 
Select the tube. Put the tube. Okay. Your rounding tool, the little orange rounding tool, you would round it off. Push the connector on. And obviously you've got the tube yeah. in the house. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. Round it. Yes. And obviously this is going to have a shroud on it as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't got any shroud at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put that back like that. Yeah. Even though you've got a shroud on that, this, the sheath, because you haven't stripped it all the way off, still gives that extra bit of protection. Tip there, tip there, and this can't be overbent then, <coughs> so you're not putting any pressure on the connector here. Yeah. Alright? It's usually 20 times the diameter, is it? Yeah. So 20 times 7 is what? 140? Yeah. We've got a small compressor in the back of there. It's about a thousand litres a minute. Bottom driven. You've got two big rubber bolts here. Now the advantage of having two big bolts here is because of the footprint that you get from the cable it can give you more push and force.